What's up guys? I wanted to do a different type of video for today and basically it's going to give you guys a rough idea of the best way to climb in ranked. I think a lot of people don't fully understand the best way to climb in ranked and I can definitely help with this. Uh, right now I'm currently rank 8 global for Apex in ranked. Um, the leaderboard is here at apexrank.com um, right behind these guys at 58,000 RP. And um, the example I want to show for you guys is just a random game from my VOD from a couple days ago. And I'm going to break it all down using these tips right here. So overall, this video is going to be kind of scuffed, but it's going to be straight to the point. So if you just listen, you'll actually be able to pick up a bunch of helpful advice that can help you on your grind. So the general rules of ranked, if you want to focus on RP grinding and RP climbing, is to land safe and track where the other teams land. Uh, getting the information of where everyone else lands is going to help you so much depending on what type of plays that you want to make and you're always aware of your surroundings and landing safe is going to reduce the rng of just dying to someone getting a purple armor off drop or getting third party immediately after you fight um looting safe is what you want to do um, to make sure that you get fully kitted with the gear that you feel comfortable with, with to win fights and you're not under geared like you don't have batteries or something or you have really bad weapons you want to make sure you get fully kitted they feel comfortable with fighting with uh whatever you end up finding um the third rule is to find a third party for loot well this is where you uh for two things for third party is getting extra loot so like you kill them to get purple armors you kill them to get better attachments and also for kill points um in ranked you just need to get up to six kill points to get max kp or to get max rp if you win the game um, that could be one kill five assists that could be six kills zero assists whatever it is you just need six kill points so finding a third party which is two other teams fighting to third party them to kill them for it's much easier to do that um, is the best way to do it to upgrade your loot and also get those early kill points once you have like two three four kill points sometimes even one kill point is completely fine you want to start rotating to end game and this is where it depends on where the circle is on King's Canyon, for, for example, if it's like a crash site ending, then it's really good to rotate early and play crash site because that is on the edge of the zone where you want to play position. If it's going to be like a center map circle, like by bunker, then you don't always want to rotate to end game and play in the middle because in ranked, everyone likes to W key or just run at people and force fights. So if you're playing in the middle, it's usually really bad. So sometimes you want to stay on like the far side of the edge where no teams are at and then you just slowly work your way in towards the end game and you just let the lobby kill itself out um rule number five is don't overextend and always be mindful of third parties you always want to try to keep range on fights because that's what's going to keep you alive the most and it's going to prevent you from getting third party yourself and always be mindful of third parties like where it could potentially come from or um if you stayed in a fight for too long or if you you know, if you've been shooting for 20 seconds, just always be like, okay, someone can come third party this. Maybe we just run away. It's completely fine. We don't have to kill these guys. You, you don't always have to kill the people that are in front of you. It's okay to run away. And then number six is once you get towards the end game, you just focus on the win. Don't, if you have six KP, you don't even need to kill people sometimes. It's okay to let them live. Just focus on playing the best position, making the best place to keep yourself alive and to help yourself win. So I don't want to make this video too long. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a random game from my VOD. From the other day of playing we actually won 10 games in a row it's the highest number of games i've ever won in apex in the past two years of playing we won 10 ranked games in a row it was insane and this is one of those games so what i want to highlight is like the basics of what we did during this game and uh how we're able to climb so much rp which is roughly like 1500 to 2000 a day in the predator lobbies um this is how we do it so what you'll see here is during the flight path that's going right through the middle of the map I'm, look, I'm looking around and seeing where everyone else is landing because I want to land at a spot where no one else is at. So right now there's six players in the drop and I see there's a lot of open spots. One team, one. So I'm going to pick to go towards, uh, I think I'm going towards good, no name. air base here. But cracked. I like the loot at this, no name bunker and river. I like this loot at the no name area a lot better. A and then you'll hear that I said that we'll get the no name loot, the bunker loot and river, which is on the other side of bunker, because I looked backwards and made sure no one was in any of those areas. So now we have the spots that we plan on landing and looting because we know no one is there. And hear what I say next. PY around us. Okay. Um, I said okay. there's a team at every PY around us. So that's just letting my team know that, you know, if we take a fight, then teams might be coming from all these directions and we know where everyone is around us. So we have complete awareness of our surroundings. 
So what we do here is we loot. I'm going to skip ahead and just skip through this. I'm just getting the kit that I feel comfortable with. Okay. We found a blue armor and a purple armor. And no joke. I, wow. I apparently didn't pick up white armor until now. I didn't realize I didn't have one. Whatever. We're hitting the crafting station at bunker. Crafting is really, really, really strong. You always want to hit a crafting station in ranked, sometimes even twice, depending on whatever's in it, like a purple backpack. Um, mainly because you need batteries, and this is the best way to get it. So we're hitting the crafting station. We're not worried about fighting. We're not worried about anything. We'll get our kills later on. So now we are just still looting, and we're just rotating, hitting the balloon. Now um, what we're doing is we're trying to work our way towards the white circle because we want to play in the zone usually so we don't get stuck in the red zone. But what happens is while we're rotating, we hear gunshots backwards. We hear gunshots backwards towards Gauntlet. And we know that this is going to be a complete edge fight because the only teams that could be fighting a Gauntlet are the teams that landed at Salvage, Market, or or Gauntlet because Airbase was empty and that because I watched that or possibly caustic treatment, but caustic treatment is really far away. So this is most likely just two teams that are fighting. So what happens is we, while we're running to it, we just get this random guy that runs into us that's running away from the fight and he just insta dies. So that's one KP for a couple of us. They're still brawling, we can chill for a second. So what I call is they're still brawling, we can chill for a second here. Um, we're just letting them fight and trade because the problem is if you try and third party too early, then you might interrupt the fight to where both teams are focusing you or both teams stop fighting and they run away. So what we do is we let them fight a little bit more. We wait for Nox, and this is where we utilize the, the gunshot sounds of the flatline, for example. And we see that he knocked him with a flatline. They're all fighting on the other side. We hit a bloodhound scan. And this, and this is where we just go in together and just kill people. Kill the crypto. Shoot the bloodhound. Bloodhound's dead. And now there's one person left in this uh, in this fight, which is Ryzen, and they're all dead. So now the benefit of this is that we not only got a bunch of kill points here. I have four total kill points now, but we have six death boxes to loot, which is going to get us completely kitted for endgame. And we're going to be good for the rest of the game. So after we leave this fight, we have literally everything we need. We have two purple armors. We have the guns we want. We have all the attachments we want. We have all the heals we want. And we're just going to focus on rotating to endgame. Right now, we don't want to fight any teams. Because if we end up fighting a team, we're just going to get third party and we're going to die. So if we run into anyone, we're actually just going to run away from them. Or if we're forced to fight, then we will try to fight it our best and stay alive and fight off any third party that comes. So we're just rotating to end game, to where we think it's going to end. And we think that this zone is going to end towards a rig. So what we're doing now is we're actually chilling inside labs. This is a really good spot to hold because if anyone pushes you, you just take the labs forward and you fly away. We see that someone is at labs, but we don't want to force a fight because like we I said before, if we force a fight, so then we end up uh, just yeah, getting third party. Uh, so we decide that we want to go play top rig. This is an example of how we, we know the zone is probably going to end in relay. But if we play the very far edge corner here on top rig, then we can kind of just wait and chill and let the rest of the lobby kill itself out. And we just we just don't have to do anything. We just let the lobby thin out. So we decide that we want to try to go towards rig, but what happens is we see a team that ends up being up here where we want to be. Um, so instead of going there, we just immediately pull back and we play this compound for a bit and we just wait. We don't need to force a fight. We don't need to leave. We just, just chill. That's all we do. Right now there's seven squads, 19 players, which means that there's six full squads, including ourselves and another solo. So now we're just AFK. And as the zone closes, we decide to wrap through the left side because we're going to just control this whole area and we want to clear our edge and we know the rig team is just going to stay over there so we, we don't have to worry about them pushing us so we see people over here on the left side we're just controlling this corner here playing edge we know our back is clear um we're kind of afk i go for the uh package and i get a uh a pk but i get shot by some people um so we see people running over to us and we call it that there's a solo here so we end up killing this guy there's another kill point for us and the best part about this position that we're in right now is as soon as this zone closes, our entire back is completely clear. And all we have to worry about is any team in uh, capacitor here or the rig team pushing us, which they probably shouldn't because they've been holding high ground the whole game. So we're still just waiting. There's six squads, 13 players, um, which means there's a lot of solos. Uh, not every team is full. We see people fighting over by rig, so we're just shooting them from range. We can balloon their height. 
They're tied in? Uh, Did we do that? We hear that they're fighting. We see a team coming out of relay. I only see one player. I believe it's Rat. Okay. I need a little bit. Of oh, this guy ran into me. I just randomly ran into a dude and uh this is a situation where we have info of where everyone is. There's no one to our left. There's no one behind us. The other teams are over by rig. And then there's these people right in front of us. So we just focus on killing these guys as quick as possible. And it looks like this guy is a rat anyways. So it's just one player. So now, right now, we use the information of the, the um, squads. There's four squads, 10 players, which means it's either us, which is the trio, and three other duo teams, or it's three full teams and a solo. And it's most likely free. Uh, three full teams and a solo because we know that the team top rig is uh, a full team well actually it has to be it has to be three full teams and a solo so we know that this guy on the left side here that we see is a solo we end up bloodhound scanning him so our teammate bloodhound scans a solo on the left side by rig and he says if you need points come here um i have max points so i don't worry about it so we just kill him real quick and we get him out of the game so after we kill him, it goes to question mark, but we know that there's two other full teams. So what happens is we hear, we're chilling over in our spot and we hear that the last two teams are fighting over in rig. So we see that one person gets knocked, hug bunny knocked guy. We queue up on height here and we start pushing into third party because it's the last two squads in the lobby. We're just shooting them from range. Another person got knocked, which is the rev team. The rev team was up top because we had information from our bloodhound scan and we see that the revenant got knocked here so that means there only can be two people up top so what we do is we end up just full sending the high ground to kill these guys real quick kill him knock him out of the game real quick those guys are dead and then the last team is a duo so we just kill these guys real quick and we get the dub but it was pretty uh pretty easy game honestly if you if you focus these steps in any rank you guys can start climbing a lot more rp my number one tip is to try to play with a group it's going to be very hard to play like this in solo queue because in solo queue you don't always have easy communication with your teammates or get people to work together but if you get a group of, of friends around your rank and you start playing like this and using this style you'll notice that you don't need to force anything you don't need to force fights you just play Compose, play slow, and you can climb a lot more RP really quickly. But anyways, a lot different type of video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.